Good morning everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I hope I find you wonderful today. Okay, oh, just when you think you're getting on top of uh, all the events happening in the world, um, a new lot gets thrown at you. I am going to read on what I mentioned uh, yesterday, so I will have um, a, but just the quickest of looks. Um, what I'm going to do is first cab off the rank and get it out of the way um, is Ivana uh, Trump, who um, the medical examiner has ruled died by accident of falling down the stairs, which at 73 is very possible. Uh, it's just the timing for this cynical old crone, the timing was very convenient and uh, falling down the stairs is a bit of a modus operandi of a certain Russian dictator and his crony. So I'll just have a quick look at that. I'm not speculating anything one way or the other and fully aware that <clears throat> every man and his dog this side of the black stump and out past Warp Warp have either read on it or have an opinion on it. I'm just going to see what the cards say. I'm not going to put my own personal slant on this at all. Um, although I, <laughs> reading on it is in some ways disrespectful. I fully understand. I personally uh, want them to show uh, that it was an accident. Um, what's happened then is that um, Trump and the Kidlets have uh, but now been delayed testifying to the New York Attorney General that was supposed to happen the day after Ivana's death. Um, and I did groan inwardly uh, when the news broke that uh, Trump had in his grief so that so much grief that he couldn't testify he in his obituary to Ivana on his social media platform he then put a link to please donate fundraising it's like oh goodness me um, okay so I'm going to have a quick look um, determined accidental fell down the stairs by the medical examiner after the autopsy wasn't a heart attack uh, it's just interesting that the injuries were uh, blunt force trauma to the chest rather than the head, neck, shoulders region, which one would expect. But we haven't seen the full, the full med medical examination as report. Okay, interesting first card that's popped out. Now I'm using my runic tarot, which I introduced to you the other day, yesterday. Um, on this because it's it's not exactly a family and friends reading but it's not uh, political money etc etc lovely deck of cards but the first card that threw out at me was the ten of pentacles which is my Trump organization card um, it is about corporations money <clears throat> this is very much a um, a uh, Viking deck where they're sort of raping and pillaging so it's just interesting that that's the first card that's popped out so we'll just see where it leads I'll pop it back again the devil was on the base of the pack tell me about Ivana's death tell me about Ivana's death although she had been married to Donald. I don't know that it was a particularly happy marriage. It was all it was a financial arrangement more than anything. She got the money, he got the glamorous wife. But she did bring up three interesting children. Okay, tell me about Ivana's death. Tell me about Ivana's death. Ivana's death, Ivana Trump's death. Okay, let's have a look. Come on down. And then we'll move on to something else. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Oh gosh, Pentacles again. Okay, so new starts. Um, the Ace, which is about health. Health and wealth. Big ideas. Practical solutions. Let's see where it goes. Crossed by the Eight of Swords. 
confinement, mental health issues, but feeling um, she usually has the the woman standing there blindfolded with her arms, her hands tied with the swords in the ground around it, but it is usually a situation that um, they can move out of, so it is a personal um, a personal uh, uh, being confined rather than um, being confined by a jail or by by another party. It is personal confinement. Okay, let's see where this leads. Base, the chariot, again, very much a Boudicca type card. Uh, things more moving forward very quickly, but also chaotically. I'm going to lay them all out and then we'll just see what the overall is. In the past, the Knight of Cups, bringing forward an offer, making an offer, an emotional offer. This is all very benign. I'm not seeing anything. I, I think what I'm getting here is her health had kept her confined. Um, I believe from what I have read, <clears throat> only very briefly, because I don't really go into a lot of detail if I know I'm going to read on it, that she hadn't left her apartment or her townhouse for several weeks. Um, so I'm thinking her health... Um, had kept her confined. This is possibly her thought process was, was chaotic. We often know when our end is near and we know when the on off ramps are coming. And so this is movement. In the past, the emotional message coming forward. Crowning the reading, the Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. Which we, we know. I mean, she, she has passed. She has passed. Okay. Immediate future. The sword of truth coming forward. So perhaps there's a truth that we're not aware of externally. The Eight of Cups. Walking away from what no longer serves you, if you have a look. So the, in this card, there's a lot of detail. There is this dragon in the front uh, defending these cups. And then there's a little squirrel up behind has grabbed one and is racing for safety. He's leaving behind what does, is not serving him. Okay, so that's externally. Something... Walking away from what does not serve you. Um, mm, okay. Internally. Trump. Okay, I'm not so sure now. Externally, there was something that was not working for, for her. Well, in some way. And externally, we've got Trump himself. The hopes and fears. The Empress, this is the mother. It's also Russia in my other decks. But this is the mother card, the abundance. The birthing, bringing forward renewal. Okay. Outcome, King of Wands. Four of Wands. King of Cups. Two Kings. And then the Four of Swords. Okay, so again, beautiful cards. What we've got here is the King of Wands. So this is um, an inspirational figure bringing forward a very powerful mentorship method. Uh, uh, not method, message, but also method. Um, bringing forward the, the energies of fire, passion so this is the actual outcome a message of passion four of wands uh, can 
mean being entrapped within those wands but it also in this particular card looks like well actually when I look at it when I'm looking at the body language of those two figures if you look where her foot is she's tr trying to draw her lower pelvis away and she's turning her head away so that's interesting about a message of of perhaps unrequited love or uh, entrapment the king of cups usually my Biden card but also about uh, very much about the emotions calm dignified this is Ivanka in uh, Ivana energy this one calm dignified diplomatic Except for when she calls herself the First Lady. And then the Four of Swords, which is wounded in battle and having to retreat. The Hanged Man, the Sacrifice, the Willing Sacrifice. And the Tower, the Ending. Okay, just looking at the base, I've got the Three of Swords, which is Heartbreak, Lost, Despair, Seven of Pentacles, uh, which is, uh, it'll take me a while to read these cards. Um, I'm still learning them. Um, this is about sort of setting all your ducks in a row, working hard, but here's the Sword of Truth. He's carrying the Sword of Truth. The Knight of Pentacles, the Mercenary, then the Devil, then betrayal and then temperance which is the rebalancing it's not really telling me um, without wanting to to feed into the conspiracy theory machine I'm not entirely convinced it was an accident um, okay <laughs> I was, I'm not entirely convinced, but I do think, are we going to find out the truth behind, there's the lovers popped out, this is contracts and agreements, often another trump card for other readers, not, not from, so much for myself, but it's about contracts and agreements. I'm just going to ask quickly, will the truth come out about Ivana's Will the full truth come out about the cause of Ivana's death? A message. And then we've got two aces. The ace of wands and the ace of cups. So uh, this is the um, rash, brash uh, messenger. The risk-taking messenger, the knight, uh, with the with the two new beginnings, the cups and the and then the eight of eight of wands, which is about um, having to defend yourself. Chariot again, which I'm really feeling is her actually going down the stairs, and judgment. Again, it's not, and then we have health, but also money, very much with the money, and the page of wands. So a message is going to come forward. I'm not convinced that it was okay. <laughs> Conspiracy theory alert. I'm not convinced, A, it was an accident, um, and we we are going to find out. There is going to be some information come out. Okay, on to something else, completely different. Um, no, I have a list here. What I don't cover today, I shall cover tomorrow. I wanted, I've been wanting to have a look for a while at Elon Musk. I have read on him a couple of times in regards to Twitter. He... Um, has now supposedly pulled out of the deal, 44 million, a uh, billion, um, <coughs> after trashing, after trashing the Twitter shares, 
you then wanted to buy it for significantly less um, really since he entered the deal to buy Twitter he's been trying to weasel his way out and I have read on that and I have seen that he's going to attempt to <coughs> our Twitter pardon me with that cough it sounds like a smoker's cough but I don't smoke okay is Twitter going to win the 44 billion to force Elon to pay 44 billion? Is Twitter going to win to force Elon to pay the 44 billion? He's one of those guys where if he wasn't as obscenely wealthy as he is, would you respect him? And, and for me personally, it's a no. Um, Yes, he is uh, he, inspirational. Yes, he is a hard worker. But as a human, he doesn't, yeah, he's not my cup of tea, I'm afraid. Okay, will Twitter win the court case to force Musk to buy? Because what's happened also is his Tesla shares have gone down. Will Elon be forced to... <coughs> Not sure whether this is Elon or Twitter. We'll keep going with this. Let's see where it goes. Okay. Under investigation, under review, feeling himself isolated. Four major arcana. Now we've got the tower card and manipulation. So I'm thinking that this is actually referring to Musk himself. Draw four cards and every single one of them is a major arcana. This is a take note, seriously, take note. Hidden agenda. There is things going on behind the scenes that we are not aware of. And this is about Elon manipulating the purchase. It is under investigation. There is information that we are not aware of. This is Elon desperately trying to hold on to his money. There will be an offer made that he is not going to be happy with and there we will hear the message about it. Now I'm looking at the base of the pack. I have the Knight of Pentacles which is about the, can be the slow and steady knight but to me in just about every deck this is a mercenary. So this was Elon's mercenary actions which has brought about chaos. Uh, and will lead to his downfall. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana in this, uh, and two court cards. We've only got two, two non-major cards here. This is take note, take note, take note. I'm seeing that... Uh, so he's under investigation, it's under review... Uh, his manipulation is going to be his downfall in some way. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and again, we've got the mercenary causing chaos, leading to a authentic reform, but also um, the downfall of the king. So I don't know that this is going to go particularly well for young Elon. We shall keep an eye on that. Okay, next. Oh, next on the list. Um, oh, Trump and Pence. Oh, how exciting. Will Trump and Pence testify to the January 6th committee at any stage? Absolutely nothing in it for Trump to do so. Guaranteed if he did, he will perjure himself. Oh, Bo of the Fifth Column did a quite um, good little um, video on this uh, Yesterday, day before, just trying to think. Um, so go and have a look if you want. But absolutely nothing in it for Trump, but everything in it for Pence to get his side of the story. As Pence stands at the moment, he is a failed ex-vice president who has lost all integrity, both within the GOP and without. Um, whereas, oh, why did Russia, oh, investigations in regards to Russia why did Russia fall out and the investigators fall out so 
and Pence, to be honest, he, if he's made, he's very religious, if he's made to sworn on, swear on the Bible to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, he will honour that, I feel. Um, but Trump, I don't even think he knows what the truth is. And I don't think he's ever opened a Bible. Uh, he uses it as a, as a prop. Okay. January the 6th committee jumped out. Okay, so what I might do is I'll do two readings, one for Pence and then one for Trump. Will Mike Pence testify? Now, the next uh, hearing, the 8th hearing, will be the 21st of July, so that's the Thursday. It'll be middle of the night for us, Thursday night, so I'll have a look at that on Friday, see what came out. Um, I'll also have a look in relation to that in a minute. Trump's Washington uh, uh, appearance for America's first agency happening a couple of days later. But tell me, will Mike Pence testify to the January 6th committee? Or tell me about Mike Pence. Will he testify? Mike Pence, will he testify to the January How's that a first card out? Very strong endings and beginnings. Death, not physical death, but he sees. Well, we'll see where it leads. I wonder whether this is what's happened as death to his reputation, his career, or whether this is the authentic reform meaning of it, crossed by the investigators. Could even be the deaths on January the 6th crossed by the, 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 the investigation of it. Sword of truth at the, at the base. Illusion and delusion in the past. Very telling. In the past. The illusion and delusion in the past. Wheel of Fortune. Closing of one cycle, starting of another, karma coming and biting you on the bum, but also the rising fortunes of some and the falling fortunes of others. I'm starting to get a feeling that he's going to, or at least he's going to be asked. Uh, immediate future is the fool, setting out an, on a new journey in faith and hope, but also very much foolish um, in this particular deck. Because to me, this fool is not so much setting out. He is just standing there looking like he... Okay, thank you, Master. <laughs> that he was taken for a fool, I think, is how Mike Pence is seeing, seeing things at the moment. He's had this real awakening. Externally, the lovers, which is about the contracts and agreements that um, between him and Trump... This is what's affecting him externally. Internally, the magician, he has all the tools in his tool belt. He has the ability to make things happen. He can manifest possibilities. Uh, it is also a manipulation card, but I think internally, and uh, I find it interesting, there's two, ma three major arcana here. Actually, we've got one, two, three, four, five so far in this entire reading, plus two court cards. Um, okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm I'm really getting the draw to the fact that Pence internally is feeling that he can manifest a new beginning for himself, a new possibility for himself. Not so much, that, but also he's feeling foolish at the manipulation that he was under. This delusion. Okay, thank you, Meister. Uh, he's going to, uh, seven of wands, he's going to feel like he has to defend himself. So this is his hopes and fears. I think he wants to get his side of the story out. So this is telling me pretty much seedy underbelly being revealed. 
in regards to homeland security and mercenary activity and yeah again I'm drawn to this as the sacrificial lamb um, that he feels like he ha has sacrificed everything for Trump and Trump's getting away with it all and then we have the whistleblower <clears throat> The whistleblower of truth. So I'm really getting quite strong here. And I've, it's fascinating how we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven court cards. One, two, three, four. Well, literally, um, the, the only two non major cards here. Everything else is a. Um, this is saying, yeah, take notice. This is a really important particular reading. Um, so I'm getting, yes, he is. He has something that he is, it's um, completely unexpected bombshell that he's going to bring forward. He's going to make an offer in regards to it and it's currently been worked on behind the scenes. So I'll say that's a yes for Trump, uh, not for Trump, for Pence, for Mike Pence. Yes, he will. He wants to get his side of the story across. Um, I'll do a quick one for Trump. I honestly, so I've got that as a yes for, for Pence. He feels like he's been duped. He feels like he's been the one that's been thrown to the wolves and blamed. His career is in shatters. His reputation is in shatters. Um, Trump, who was the instigator of all this, is, seems to have gotten off, seems to have gotten off scot-free so far, and is still being fawned over. Um, so I think he's going to. Yes, I do. I think he's going to, and I think the negotiations or the discussion is currently underway. Okay, I'll ask very quickly because I don't think Trump is going to. He's he's having too much. Fun, <laughs> roll my eyes. He's having too much fun uh, just doing his thing. But we'll, I'll just do it very quick. Four cards, please. Will Trump testify to the January 6th committee? He may. <clears throat> okay, Meister, what I'm getting is that when information comes out, when they have a hearing uh, televised, he'll rant and rave and declare that he wants to but uh, I don't think he's going to but we'll have a look tell me tell me Meister tell me Meister is Donald Trump going to testify to that's just me poor shuffling because I had this amazing calm sensation coming over to me over me almost like I was falling into a sleep which is just Meister touching on my energies, tell me, will Donald Trump, Donald Trump testify to the January 6th? Okay. <coughs> Reaping what you sow, but also uh, being disappointed with the harvest, okay. Okay, money, 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 money. It's always about money with this dude. Um, sorry, lift that slightly. Uh, insecurity, insecurity regarding money, uh, trying to hang on to what money he has. Uh, also playing his cards close to his chest, but this is purely insecurity about money. This is about his ego being wrapped up in in raising money but he's he's finding himself disappointed in what is actually uh coming to him i'd i suspect perhaps the donors who can least afford it that keep getting these emails or whatever saying put another 10 bucks in are perhaps getting saying i can't afford to put 10 dollars in it's either that or i pay for fuel to get to work um but also this is about uh, um, uh, not so much actions and consequences, reaping what you sow. 
reaping what you sow, insecurity, financial insecurity, karma coming and biting him on the bum. Oh, money, 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 money. So it's not telling me yes or no, but I'm. Uh, what I'm getting here is that he is very much back on the railing against it, but I don't think he's going to. The reason being, he's playing his cards close to his chest. He knows he would, well, he probably doesn't know, but he's getting the advice from those around him that if he, if he lets anything spill, he'll perjure himself. Um, we've got this under the reaping what you sow karma. Karma's a bitch on occasion. We've got the dark money and the, the, the ending, the culmination here. Um, so I think he's not going to um, because of what's on the base. This is retreat after being wounded in battle, investigation, things coming forward very quickly, an offer being made that, um, again, major arcanas everywhere in this reading, full illumination and strength. Uh, the unconscious shifting to, or the subconscious shifting to the conscious. So I think he's um, not going to come forward voluntarily, but I don't think he's going to come forward at all because he he's uh, this investigation, this chaos, this message, it's not strong like what Pence is. It's, it's an interesting array of, of cards, these. It's about uh, he knows that he's reaping what he, he will reap what he sows and, and uh, his destiny will be, his fortunes rising and falling will be influenced by uh, what actually is brought forward. And I think he's, too, okay, thank you, Master. He's too busy. He's too busy trying to make money and feed his ego to actually come forward. Okay, I hope that made sense. A um, few other bits and pieces that I'll have a look at tomorrow. Secret Service missing electronic communications that the Office of the Inspector General is investigating. I want to have a look at Charlie Crist, who is uh, was a Reagan Republican but has turned Democrat, is challenging DeSantis in um, Florida. I want to have a look at that. And uh, I'll have a look to see how Trump's speechy thingy goes on the 26th at the America First Agency Summit. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the box below interesting array of things that are happening seems to be a lot of information coming out on a lot of factors if there's a particular part of the world you want me to read on please let me know and i shall catch you later take care look after yourselves turn the news off <laughs> get out in the garden love to you all bye bye